time. It's a Russian-made single-engine cargo biplane. Hi there. You must be uh, Ramon, Paco, and Maria. Ron, do you even know what the cargo is? I never ask any questions. You know our slogan. We fly anything, anytime, anywhere. Vamos! I just deliver the goods. That's it. And you do a very good job. Hey, where are you taking my brother? As soon as those weapons get here, your friends are going to kill me. For a surfer, the perfect day consists of warm sun, great waves, and the time to enjoy them. But when winter hits the beach, clouds block out the sun, the water turns cold, and depression naturally settles in. In order to survive, the surfer has only one recourse, get out of town. And just as winter was tightening its chilly grip on the Barrett brothers, the surfing gods smiled down on us. Hey, mate, I got the Mustang all packed up. Let's go. Okay, as soon as Rachel gets here, we're gone. I'm here. Hey, Rachel. Rachel, Rachel, thank you so much for taking care of everything for us. No problem. It's gonna be fun. Uh, I think I've got everything organized. Here are the keys. Great. I hope you're not expecting me to do a lot of business, Mick. Why should anything change now? Don't worry about it. This time of year, business is always slow. It's the weather. Yeah, I guess gray skies get everybody down. That's why we're going to... Central America! Oh, Joey, it sounds like heaven. Take me with you, please! Rachel, please, please, Rachel, please. get a hold of yourself. We're all booked up. Yeah, if this goes well, we'll do two or three of these tours every winter. Great. Then I'm booking my reservation right now. You're on the top of the list. Okay, we're out of here. Let's go. Okay, I'll call you when we get there. Listen, don't worry about it. Go and have a good time. I'll take care of everything here. So, uh, we'll see you in 10 days. If you're lucky. I met Ron Gregory through a girlfriend. Along with his partner, Kurt Smalley, Ron started Global American Air about five years ago. It hasn't made them millionaires, but they have managed to stay in business. Ron is the world's greatest pilot. I know this because he told me. He was in the Navy Air Corps and later flew some sort of top secret reconnaissance missions for the government. Make love, not war. <laughs> Don't mind Jack. He's uh, he's psychotic, but he's harmless. <laughs> Welcome to the Twilight Zone. <laughs> hey. So, Mick, what do you think of the plane? Huh? That's it? Oh, it's great. Uh, it's just not what I expected. That's because it's unique. It's a Russian-made single-engine cargo biplane. Russian, huh? How'd it get here, Ron? Uh, well, that's, that's a long story. <clears throat> Oh, so, are you guys up for some unbelievable surfing? Oh, yeah, we're stoked. Well, as soon as Jack finishes the safety check, we'll be loading up and heading out. Ah, uh, you're gonna let him check the plane by himself? Don't worry. He's crazy, but Jack Nickerson is still the best aircraft engineer in the States. Uh, Kat's got some paperwork for you guys to sign in the office. 
Cat, this is Mick and Joey Barrett. They're our surfing tour guides. Hi. It's nice to finally meet you guys. Oh. Sorry, I'm allergic to cats. <laughs> hey, listen, will you guys excuse me for two seconds? Kurt and I have some business to take care of. Yeah, sure. OK. OK, I just need you guys to sign these releases. Release? What is this for? Insurance purposes, in case there's an accident. Huh. You mean a crash? Right, but don't worry. Ron hardly ever crashes. Hardly ever? I'm kidding. Oh. <clears throat> witness yours, you witness mine? Yeah. Ron, do you even know what the cargo is? I never ask any questions. You know our slogan. We fly anything, anytime, anywhere. That was not meant to include illegal materials. Relax, Kurt. Whatever the cargo is, I've flown this stuff hundreds of times. There's no problem. Look, why can't we just stick to normal business? Ron, I just want to be legitimate. You're going to have to take that up with your parents. I just want to be rich. You're insane. I don't know. You are truly an insane person. I am not insane. Oh, by the way, while I'm down in Central America, I'm going to check out a lead on one of my treasures. I'll stop that with the treasure thing already. Look, look, look. Smalley, where is your sense of adventure, huh? I'm talking millions in Mayan gold. I'm talking pipe dream. Hello? Just for that? You don't get a share. No? You don't get it. Um, and some chedin, some sakedin, some sim, 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 sakedakadum. Hey, better, better, better. Sold America. What's going on? I'm not sure. I'm blessing the plane. Ever since my days in Laos and Thailand, I like to say a B -B Buddhist prayer over my aircraft. So, uh, you're Buddhist, huh? Hell no. Falling away Catholic. <laughs> oh. So then why the blessing? Covering all the bases. You gotta remember, fellas, a plane is like a woman. In what way? Damn if I know. I just like saying it. Sounds poetic. <laughs> no prisoners. That means the plane's ready. Let's go. How can you tell? Stop it. We were finally on our way. Most of the surfers were waiting for us in Cancun. At first, we had to pick up three of our party in Wymus. One or two other stops along the way to refuel and pick up some cargo. Then it was on to 10 days of sun, sand, and surf. Hey! Hey, you still feeling sick? No, oh, no, that pill you gave me really worked. What was that? Some crafty old chiman outside of Shanghai makes it up for me. It's really great on hangovers, too. Ah, uh, so what are you going to do all day while we're surfing? Hunt for treasure. Mayan gold. It's been buried out in the rainforest for thousands of years. And after all that time, you're going to be the one to find it, right? Hey, why not? Well, sooner or later, someone's going to find it. Might as well be me. Plus, I got a great lead. Some loony old guy in San Marcos. San Marcos? Yeah. Isn't there a war going on there now? Uh, they call it a revolution. Is it safe to go there? Safer than driving the California freeways. Besides, I hear the surf's incredible. Hang on a second. Wyamas Tower. This is Antonov, November 61488, requesting clearance. Over. Be on the ground in 10 minutes. There. You must be uh, Ramon, Paco, and Maria, right? That's right. I'm Ramon Chavez. Hello, Maria. I'm Joey Barrett. I'm his brother, Mick. We'll be your tour guides for the next two weeks, along with our pilot, Ron Gregory. We should be underway in just a few minutes. Didn't you forget something? What do you mean? Your guns. No, we don't have any guns. No. <laughs> Bad choice of words. He means you surf points. Yeah, you can't shoot the curl without your guns, you know what I'm saying? Uh, well, uh, we don't have our boards with us. We ship them ahead to Cancun. Oh, bad move, bad move. Why? Well, because you can never trust other people to be careful with your board. Always travel with your board. From now on, we will. Thanks for the advice, Joey. Uh, no problem, Ramon. Uh, that's my job. You finished? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. What do you think of our passengers? Well, the girl is very attractive. Yeah, that's exactly what I meant. Come on, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, no, I don't. 
If they're surfers, I'm an alien abductee. You always were a suspicious person, Barrett. In fact, I think that was the problem between you and Linda Carey. Linda Carey? What are you bringing her up for now? It's ancient history. It's all starting to make sense. So, you, uh, you've been surfing long? No, no, I just learned this year. I'm hoping to really improve on this trip. Oh, yeah, listen, if you want, I'll give you a few pointers, maybe even a few private lessons. Thank you. Mm. I'm gonna need all the help I can get. <laughs> so, where are you from? Why do you ask? Oh, just wondering. I'm from San Diego. Well, La Jolla, actually. Oh, San Diego. I, I like San Diego. My father took me there when I was little to visit some relatives. I remember he took me to the zoo. Maria! That's enough. Hey, chill, dude. We're just having a little conversation here. It's not here. How can you say I came between you and Linda? I was going with her for three months before you even met her. You're trying to make it sound like I took her away from you. You did! No, excuse me. Look, look, I never knew about you. I just assumed that she was available. Hey, Romeo, I'm the one who introduced you to her. Uh, can I just say something? Joey, we're having a conversation here. I just thought you'd like to know we're being hijacked. Technically speaking, this is not really a hijack. For years now, it's been called skyjacking. Where are the weapons? I still don't know what you're talking about. You were supposed to transport a cargo of weapons to San Marcos. Is that true? The guy's got a gun, oh, Ron. Okay, 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 relax. I just didn't understand. Look, I still have a shipment in Brownsville, Texas to pick up and go on to San Marcos. But I had no idea that there were weapons in it. Well, you don't check those minor details? Like, what the hell are you going to be carrying in your plane? It's none of my business. I told you, I promise to deliver anything, anytime. Enough! We want the weapons. As soon as we get to Brownsville, they're all yours, pal. We cannot go to Brownsville. Ah, the plot thickens. I want you to fly these coordinates. Uh, whatever you say, man. Here you go with the gun. So I guess you're not going on the surfing safari, huh? Quiet! Well, I'll tell you what, my offer for free lessons still stands. Stop, drop! All right, we're at the coordinates. There. On the other side of that hill, there's a small runway hidden by some trees. Why is it always a small runway? Kansas anymore. Yes, hey, where are you taking my brother? Come on. He will not be harmed. I'm gonna put that in writing. You have my word. Oh, oh, that makes me feel a lot better. When you return from Brownsville with the weapons, Joey will be released. Oh, so that's the game. Game? I'm not playing any games. This is serious business, Mr. Gregory. I suggest you treat it that way. We'll get your damn weapons. You just make sure nothing happens to my brother. How long is this 
this going to take? Round trip, two, maybe three hours. Maria, help me, please. Or no, are those crates filled with weapons or not? No, this is not like you, Ron. You never ask questions. Things are a little different right now. You know I can't tell you anything. Okay, look, hypothetical. What if this shipment doesn't make it to San Marcos? That wouldn't be good. I didn't say that. This is half of your payment. You get the balance when you return to Brownsville. We're out of here. Hey, who's the guy you were talking to? Uh, business associate. Well, you're going to have to untie me. My neck's not that long. Nope. Can't do that. I'll feed you. No, thanks. You got to believe me. We don't want to hurt you. Oh, right. That's why you hijacked our plane and you're holding me hostage. Well, we all have to make sacrifices for the revolution. <laughs> Get this, OK? I couldn't care less about your revolution. Well, I don't expect you to understand. You come from a country where everyone is free. We don't have any freedom in San Marcos. Yeah, tell me about it. As soon as your friends return, we'll let you go. You really expect me to believe that? It's the truth. As soon as those weapons get here, your friends are going to kill me. Ramon would never do that. Maria, I am a dead man unless you untie me right now. Maria! What was that? I don't know. Sounded like something hit the plane. But everything seems okay. How can you tell none of these gauges are in English? Uh, I think it's Russian, but somebody told me it was Polish once. How do you read it? <laughs> I don't. Oh, don't worry, I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty good guesser. Well, we should be there soon, huh? It's been almost two hours. Um, uh, Mick, something came up. We, we're gonna have to make a little side trip. What are you talking about? The rebels are holding my brother. We'll go back for Joey, you know, after we deliver this cargo to La Ceiba. But that's the capital city of San Juan. I don't need a geography lesson. I need to get my brother out of there. Mick, listen to me. If we don't deliver these weapons to General Perez, we're all dead. If we don't deliver these weapons to the rebels, my brother is dead. Yeah, we're in trouble. You're damn right we're in trouble. Well, no, I mean, we're, we're in trouble here. Something's wrong with the plane. We're losing power. But you know, today is our lucky day. <laughs> you called this lucky? Yeah, yeah, I just noticed an airstrip back there built by the Colombian drug lords. I think we might be able to make it. You think? No, no don't worry. I'm, I'm really good at crashing. one yet.
Hey, maybe we should radio for help. Uh, I'd rather not. There's no telling who we might attract. Yeah, found the problem. Was that a bullet? Yeah. Who'd shoot at us? Could be the government, the rebel troops, the bandits that hang out in these hills, my ex-wife, or <laughs> some other unfriendly. Sounds like everybody's unfriendly around here. Yeah. Now, even the friendlies are unfriendly right now. Can you fix this? Yeah, I think so. Just, uh, just cut the fuel line. Shouldn't take long. Hold on, bro. We're coming. Ow! Ow! I got hit. Oh, man. Okay. Joey, just go on, okay? Just go on and just let me be here. No, no. No, I'm not going anywhere without you. Joey, please go on. Let me stay here. Listen to me. Okay, you got shrapnel in your arm. We're gonna get it out. Be quiet. Hold this in your mouth. Okay. Put your hand right here. Put your hand right here. All right. Oh. You ready? Get breathe. Stopped. How's that feel? <laughs> Here, I want to keep this as a souvenir. What doesn't kill you only makes you stronger, huh? Thank you, John. Hey, no problem. I held you one. If you hadn't cut me loose back there. Uh... So. What do we do now? Well, um, we can't stay here. The government soldiers will be looking for us. There's a rebel camp east of here. We can just cut through the jungle. It's up to you. You feel like walking? Mm, I could try. OK. <laughs> Gentlemen, welcome to San Marcos. I'm General Perez. General, why are we being detained? Are we, uh, are we under arrest here? No, of course not. There was just some concern why you were delayed. Engine trouble. We had a fuel line problem. We had to set it down for about three hours. I was afraid you might have been intercepted by the rebel forces. My enemies would love to get their hands on that cargo. Yeah, I wouldn't know anything about that, General. I, I just deliver the goods. That's it. And you do a very good job. Well, thank you. So, uh, when can we leave? I don't think you'll be able to take off before it gets dark. I'm sorry, but unfortunately, because of the rebel insurgents, all planes are grounded at night. So we're stuck here till the morning? You'll stay at La Ceiba's finest hotel as guests of the government of San Marcos. Well, thank you very much, General. We, we, uh, we accept that hospitality. Thank you. Have a pleasant evening. <laughs> You're supposed to trade those weapons for Joey. I had to go see a man about acquiring some more weapons. Oh, that should be real easy. Oh, you have little faith. How's the arm? It hurts. All right, let's take a break. Oh. 
Oh, you're not like any other girl I've ever met before. You're tough. Well, thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. Good. That's how I meant it. So, uh, got any idea where we are? Nope. No idea. <laughs> but as soon as we get to the coast, I'll be able to find my way. Oh. You mean we might actually get to see this prize surf I've heard so much about? <sighs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. What? It's a... Joey, it's just a iguana. Ah, uh, ah. Uh... It won't hurt you. Oh, oh. What is this stuff? Mud. Oh, very funny. Could you give me a hand, please? <laughs> what? It's just mud. Look at this. You look ridiculous. Yeah, you don't look so hot yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for iguanas? Very funny. <laughs> it's all right. Ramon is afraid of them, too. And he's our brave leader of the revolution. So, um, you and Ramon are pretty close, huh? Yeah. Pretty close. He's my brother. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, that's, uh, that's interesting. Why? Well, I don't know. Uh, I got a brother, too. What an amazing coincidence. Yeah. We seem to have an awful lot in common. show a guy a good time. Yeah, it just gets better and better, doesn't it? <laughs> well, he said he'd be down at the end of the bar. He'd be one of these guys? I don't think so. I think he's older. I'll go check, but look, let me do it alone, all right? No tricks. Hey, <laughs> nothing on my sleeves, huh? <laughs> What's left? Ron Gregory? No, no, I'm Nick Barrett. Celia Contreras. Hi, uh, Ron. Yeah. Hey. Mr. Gregory, I'm Donna Leahy's assistant. Ah, won't you please sit down? I'm afraid he won't be able to meet with you. Why not? Nick, Nick, let me handle this, please. Why not? The Don was arrested this morning for being a rebel sympathizer. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about that. Um... Hey, Mick, could you get us another beer, please? Maybe the lady would like something. Oh, uh, no, thank you. Get your own beer. Don Alejo just wanted me to get your mailing address so that I could send to you all the information about the Mayan treasure. Mayan treasure? Yeah. My brother has a gun to his head, and you're meeting someone about your treasure? Nick, Nick, look, look relax, OK? I've been waiting on this a long time now, right? We need weapons. We got to have something to trade. Nick, will you calm down? I'm going to take care of everything. I can't trust you anymore. I'm going to go to Perez myself. I'll tell him everything. Maybe he'll help me find Joey. I must warn you. Don't make any deals with Perez. Mick, Mick, she's right. OK, I mean, I'm a jerk. But this guy's definitely bad news. He's a butcher responsible for the deaths of thousands of innocent people. That is why we have to support the rebel cause. Hey, you forgive me, but the rebels are holding my brother hostage right now. It's a little hard to get behind your cause.
Look, here's my card. If you have any information about the treasure, I would really appreciate it if you could send it to me. Mick! Well, hell of a day, huh? I know. I'll never forget it. But I'm not just yours. What is not just? What's all this? Oh, just a little something for the rebels. Really? Yeah. It's about time. Don't make a big deal out of it, all right? How'd you pull this off? Mac, don't ask me how. I just did it. Now, let's go get Joey. the tube heaven. <laughs> Wish I had my board. You can always come back. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Chief, but you can call me Dewey. <laughs> oh, ah, uh, Dewey, can you tell us where we are? Ah, uh, this beach. We got a pipeline, too. Oh, you're into surfing? Oh, see, it's my number one sport. I watch on ESPN, too. I got a mother of a satellite like dish with 150 channels. Joey's a surfer. Really? Hey, you ever uh, surf with uh, Dewey Taylor? Well, yeah, I, I've surfed with him a few times. Ah, yeah. oh, that's groovy. Dewey Taylor, he's my favorite. That's why I took his name. Oh, great. Great. Well, uh, Dewey, this is uh, Maria, and I'm Joey Barrett. Joey Barrett? Joey Barrett! Ah, I knew you looked familiar. I've seen pictures of you in a surfer magazine. Oh, yeah, we've, uh, we've been in there a few times. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, amigo. That's awesome. Hey, are we going to the village? We drink some cervezas, and we talk about surfing, huh? Uh, uh, Dewey, Dewey, that, that'd be great, really, but, uh, we're kind of in a hurry. But where are you going, amigo? Well, actually, we're looking for this camp. I think it's just a few miles south of here. Are you with the rebels, huh? Um... Uh... No, no, we... we actually were in this tour... And we were hiking. Uh, yeah, and, and we got, uh, separated from our group, you know, and... So we. You're lying! <laughs> just kidding, amigo, just kidding. I hate that General Perez myself. 
Now, the rebels, they're good dudes, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I take it to the camp myself. You come with me. Venga, venga, venga. Oh, yeah, get out of the car, dude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you like to hit doobie brothers, huh? Yeah. Well, I'm on I got contacts all over Central America. We will find Joey. Yeah. Now, now don't, don't be thinking bad thoughts. You gotta keep the faith, brother. What's the plan? Well, first I thought we'd take a little side trip to uh, Brownsville. Why would we go all the way back there? Well, I got a little unfinished business to take care of. What? Now, now just relax, okay? If don't... this has anything to do with your stupid treasure hunt, forget it. It's not. It's got to do with the uh, CIA. The CIA? I'm supposed to believe that? No, but that's why we're going to Brownsville. We're not going back to Brownsville. Nick's right. We're going to rendezvous with my rebels. I want you to fly to these coordinates. Uh, does it seem like deja vu to you? He do this to you? No. He saved my life. If it wasn't for him, I'd probably be dead by now. Guys, yeah, easy with the guns, all right? Uh, we're friends, really. It's all right. He's a friend. Yeah! Chill out, dudes! It's okay! <laughs> I could please tell them to stop and put him down. Forget las armas. Is Ramon here? Paco. Where's my brother? He disappeared, just like you. So you didn't see Joey after the attack? No. He must have gotten away. You think he might be with the rebels? I hope so along with my sister. Are you all right? Just stay where you are. Ramon, I'm not your enemy. All right, look, we're almost there, so uh, you want to tell me where I can land this thing? Mm-hmm. That clearing over there. This is not your war, Joey. Just go back to La Ceiba and find your brother. I don't want to go. I remember when you said you didn't care about this revolution. It's before I cared about you. feeling about this. I think they think we hurt Ramon. Don't worry. Maria's not gonna let anything happen to us. Maria? Do I get the feeling you and Maria got kind of close? Very close. Execute them! Oh, I'm out. Right. What? 
Paco, you can't do this, man. We're on your side. The spies. That's not true. We brought you weapons. The only thing we found in that plane was drugs. You're nothing but smugglers for Paris. Yeah, it's a long story. Ready, squad! Ready! I'm really sorry about this, guys. High Tide will be right back. Next on High Tide. We've been skyjacked, held hostage, accused of being spies, and almost executed. So why don't you cut us a little bit of slack? At least we're not dead. Yet. Nothing can be gained by cooperating with Perez. Of course not. He's going to kill us. I really wish things were different, Joe. About the gold. I think he's finally lost. And you must have come across some some Mayan ruins or, or old stuff like that, you right? You find all this amusing, huh? Well, General, if you can't laugh at war, what's the point in fighting? Oh, you guys have done this before, huh? Yeah, once or twice. <laughs>